Uh, good day, everyone. Welcome to the channel. So today, I'm going to be teaching you how to draw a 25 liters jerry can. And the procedures, I'm going to take you through the procedure. Procedures of drawing the 25 liters jerry can. And um, when you are done drawing, how to color it. Very important. It is very important. We are going to be drawing black jerrica, but I'm going to be deciding on the color I'm going to give it. So the black jerrica we are drawing today, I'm going to color it blue. I'm going to give the background to blue as a uh, light blue. So now, um, just watch as I take you through the process. So uh, let us start the drawing. So first of all, you you measure your paper so you have to leave space at the edges this space i don't want my work to go beyond this all right um so the mark that i talked about the other time i noticed is as if you, are, you were not seeing it very well that's why i want to draw it again very important so after that, so what do you do? You draw another line, straight down, you divide this into two, you divide again into four, very important. So this one will serve as um, uh, the balancing. This one, we are going to use it for balancing. So uh, this one will balance it from top this one from the side and um, let me start the drawing proper you know when you have uh, a very big space like this you don't have to draw small inside of it you have to make sure that you draw the work big so that the work will look uh, balanced in the work uh, in the space rather so, you have to put all those things into consideration. And by the time you do that, even you yourself, you'll be glad by the time you see your work. Not that you, you, you have a very, very big space and uh, you not draw your drawing small. All right, take a look at this. Now, Look at this angle. And um, yeah, that's the side of the of the jelly can. The same thing here. You can see that I'm not drawing everything straight. I can't draw everything straight because there must be an angle. It's perspective that we are we are talking about here. So perspective. So yeah, in a way, must curve because I'm looking at it from the center. All right. So you can see that I created those blocks. I'm now bringing out the design from it, as in the shape of the object from it. That's the way to go about it. And um, so let's try it on. Look at this angle. The angle of the jerry can, the angle at the top here, and draw it here, and draw it here. Uh, you notice the jerry can is a little bit tall, but mine is not that tall, so. You can make mistake in your drawing and instantly you quickly adjust it. Once you spot 
the mistake are just very important. Very important. So that's what I've done now. I've done that quickly. So it's tall, but I made my shot. So that's what I'm correcting already. Mm -hmm. Okay. I want to draw the cover. The cover of it. Hope you are following what I'm doing. Because I would like you to also practicalize it. I know you will like it. At the end of the day, you will learn with your results. I'm drawing the diary count from the angle I'm seeing it from. You understand? I know the 25 meters written on it. The first create space like this. You know, you create space inside and you draw the design, the design. You draw your numbers first. So drawing is all encompassing. So um, some of the things you guys learned or you must have come across um, there's a um, construction of letters, you know, Figures or uh, figures, alphabet, and so on and so forth. All those things they will help you when you are trying to when you are trying to um, draw the twenty-five. You can see. You notice there was a mistake there. I quickly correct it. So. No one is an island. So anyone can make mistake. No one is 100% perfect. It's only God that is 100% perfect. All right, let's continue in the drawing. You can see it's not even taking me much time to do the drawing. You just have to be smart. I then it. Drawing is is um it's easy if you practice more. You practice, practice, practice. So I'm going to take you through the we are done with the drawing. It now remains the painting. All right. You can see, you can see the drawing. Can you see the drawing? Can you see the drawing? Can you see from this side? That's the drawing. So what is left is painting. You can see the 25 written right on it. So what is left is just painting. I will do that soon. All right. Um, I said what is left is painting. But there's something I forgot. So what I forgot is um, our line. Our line um, that differentiates our foreground from our background. This is our main ground where the work is sitting. So you just draw draw a line 
make sure the line you are drawing here tallies with the one you are drawing in this side. And now, let it draw be straight. My light is coming from here. Here will be dark. Here is going to be light. So, but what do I always start with? I always start with light tone. So, just watch what I'll be doing. So, I'm going to paint everything light. So, even that your light tone, you see gradated. So, this is um, light blue. I'm going to do gradation of the light blue. So, the gradation of the light blue, I'm going to gradate it first. Very important. This is the light blue. So, um, when you have done that, what do you need to do again? Now, you need to gradate your light color. So, your light color, if it's light blue, you create your light and your mid. Very important. So, let me do that here before I move on. So yeah, I told you my light is shining directly towards this side. So here is going to receive the depth. And um, the depth you are going to be creating it gradually. Gradually. Always make sure your colors cover your draw uh, your your lines of drawing. Very important. Your colors must cover your lines of drawing. So, so let's move on. You can see I have created my light on here, and here is lighter than this side. The same thing I'm going to do to everywhere. So now. I'm going to come to this side again. And I still have this line showing us the, the shape, the demarcation between where our light is coming from and where our depth is. So now you can see gradually I'm changing the whole thing. All these lines that I use in building myself when I was doing the work. Um, when you want to do yours, you have to make sure it's, it's not this dark. It must not be dark because you will still cover it up. So um, it has to be light so that by the time you are covering it up, it will be easier. Now, um, remember this shape that that I talked about, we have not done the shape. The shape here, there is a design right here, which we are going to draw. We did not draw it the other time. So, draw the design. It's very important. So I've done that. So now I'm going to paint inside of it. Inside, I'll paint inside, inside. I also paint inside here too. It's light. Make sure you are painting it light. Do you understand? Make sure you are painting it light. It shouldn't be dark. Light because our light is coming, is bouncing directly on this. All right. So, and inside the 25, 
the same thing the same thing so if you are using a light color to to do this drawing if you are using pencil to do it so you trace out you use color your light color to trace out your 25 first very important your light color to trace out your 25 because we don't want to lose the shape that's why we are tracing it out we don't want to lose the shape so the same thing here all right we have done that okay now um our our depth okay we have not covered this side let us cover this side first before we go to our depth okay now the depth now you now take your dark color and um, you start applying gradually you don't Place your hand to add when you are doing that. You know, I'm using oil pastel. Do you understand? So, the oil pastel that I'm using, the more you press down your hand, the, the brighter and darker your work becomes. So, it should just be, it, it, it should uh, be depositing on the on your drawing material or on your drawing book dark or it will be giving you dark colors and you don't need that so you have to be able to control you don't let it control you and i said our light is coming from here so here just do it faintly you don't cover everywhere completely so this is where that is <laughs> That we have our debt more so you you put more pressure on this and by the time you get to this center you you raise up your hand a little bit and let it get faded and look well blended with the other parts so everywhere should not be completely dark if you look at it very well you will notice here is darker here is darker than this side, although is our depth, but that's the way it's supposed to be. Now, you will see one shape here at the Jerica, on the Jerica, rather. Now, you, the style, you bring it out, and even on top, I think um, there's another one here too. You can see, you bring it out gradually down now the space in between your light and your dark you have to fix well so the space in between your light and your dark creates depth and now we are here right in front yeah because our light is bouncing on this here if you look, take a look at the shape here, is um, the shape here goes down. This side goes down. Here is bulging out. So now, because of that reason, here will be darker than every other part because this place is receiving um, most of the depth at the front where we are having where yeah, our light is uh bouncing on so because this one goes inside now we are going to color it back and now here there's a shape here that we have not brought out completely which we are going to bring out completely I'll still define some of them as time goes on. You can see because I did not define here properly. Uh -huh. I think it's coming out better now. So now 
the top of okay let's before then let me let me do it one after the other let me um color this side first i'll show you how to be about the remaining now here the light bounces on this and here is still dark a little bit but not too not as dark as this side do you understand so now as you have done this what do you do you you just add a little bit of small depth right here not everywhere just right there mm -hmm. and here too remember our light is bouncing here now here this top once your light is bouncing once you have a design like this so to say now the top because this is more or less like an interglow so is a design is uh the is like uh, etching so now this is going inside is embossed this part is embossed so here we go inside so because now uh let us add the we can add purple a little bit because it's blue so we we'll add purple here to create more depth because blue you understand purple will give us the shape that we need You see, add a little bit of black where necessary. But it's not always advisable for um, those ones that are just coming up. It's not always advisable because it can ruin your work. Thus, in some few places, you had it. You can see that it's coming out more. Can you see that? And now, just like what I was talking about the other time, yeah, because your your work is being placed on something, it must always cast a shadow. Yes, it must always cast a shadow, except to want to lie to ourselves. Must always cast a shadow. Just try and place something right on the table and check right under. You will see a shadow, tiny, in between what you have placed on the table and the table. So if, uh, if you place close attention to it, you will see it. Now you can see I'm adding my depth. Now is if you take a look at it very well, the work is coming out more because the depth is being added. More depths have been added where necessary, not just everywhere. Where necessary. Can you see that? And here, top here. You had that your death. You know, I talked about it the other time. Not everywhere. Not everywhere. You have to be careful so that you don't lose the work. If you add too much of um, the death, it can spoil your work. You can see the base too. The top. Very important. Can you can you just see that? Can you see what's going on? The work is coming out gradually, and um, hmm. Then we say, "Wow, this is a masterpiece. This not even a masterpiece. Is a um, 
if you want to create masterpiece, you take more of your time to do that. To put everything to consideration. So we just rush to do this, but we can always do better. Even you watching me, you can do better than what I'm doing. If you place, if you take your time, you do more of practice because art is practice. You don't practice it, you not, you not be good. So drawing, you draw all the time. You know, you sketch. I time to sketch. There must always be time to sketch. You sketch. Very important. Now, like I shadow that I talked about the other time. Okay, let me let me finish this. Like I shadow that I talked about the other time. Um now we are going to they did it now dark those are what i said newton and lighton it has to be graded it with um we have to grade it like that the gradation have to follow that process and now you can see the jerrican is is coming out and now um yeah you can see had small depth again here you can add small depth there again and now uh, where is our purple you still had small yeah not too much if you add too much you spoil the work remember here is our depth. Okay. Hope you are seeing what I'm doing. Hope you understand it. Can you see that? Can you see that? All right. As simple as that. Nothing much. Okay. And what I said the other time. Yeah. Give it. Uh -huh. Now we are not scared of adding anything again. So you see, add small depth here. All right. I think to an extent we have been able to cover this part. All right. The dark, the remaining bed that I talked about is just small black. Not everywhere, it does small. It does use it to assist your depth. You don't add it too much. You add it too much, you spoil the work. It's not always advisable. So use your discretion. It's only artists that, that can control it, not especially the masters that can use it they don't even use it in most cases but in case you want your work to to look solid so and you, you have to be very careful very careful when you are applying it because black ones work to spoil work spoils and spoil the whole thing you have been doing. And you, there's no way you recover it. You know it's darker than every other color. It's the darkest. So if you say, eh, now I'm going to cover it, mm -hmm. you won't be able to cover it. It's black. All right. You can see. So what are we going to use for our uh, our our foreground and our background. I told you we are going to be using the same color, which is um, sky blue. We are going to be using sky blue. All right. So now I want to start with my background. So the sky blue. Ah, you can see what I'm talking about about the black. 
now my my um help herself touches that side now uh you can you can see the work so now i'm going to add small purple to the back to that background just small purple like this on this line and um, we are going to go now let me show you the work properly so that you see we have done a, a very good work look at the work from the front can you see can you see can you see our work can you see can you see what we have done so take your time and do yours all right me too all right take your time and do yours so um we'll see you later bye